Welcome to Everyday Experiments with InVideo, where we bring you raw experiments straight from our creative team that look to push the envelope and create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. In this episode, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process to create an epic logo reveal like the one you just saw. If you want to follow along, all you have to do is go to invideo.io and sign up for a free account if you haven't already done so. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. I'm on the home screen of InVideo now, and I'm going to go ahead and select blank canvas, and then I'm going to select the square size. This is going to be a video that could go on Instagram, so we're going to go ahead and make it a square. So I'm just going to hit make a video. And then once your project is loaded, the first thing you want to do is come to the folders tab on the side and create a new folder just so you can keep everything organized. So this folder I'm going to call logo reveal. And then I'm going to click on that folder and go ahead and upload the image and the music that I want to use. So those are uploading now. If you don't have your own image or music, you can go to the image tab on the side here, and then you can search through some stock photos and find something really cool that you want to use. And then for music, you can go to the music tab and same thing, you can find some cool stock music. But because I already knew the image and music I wanted to use, I just went ahead and uploaded them. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and delete the title and the logo that are automatically put on the canvas. I just want to start with a completely blank canvas. And I'm also going to turn it white because that's what I want the background color to be. So I'm just coming up to canvas color on the top here and then dragging that over to white. And then I'm going to go ahead and come back to my folder. I'm going to click on my eye image, which is just going to put it on the canvas for me. All right, and then I'm gonna drag it out to make it the size that I want it. So I want it to take up the whole canvas. And also I know I want this entire video to be about 10 seconds. So I'm gonna just come over to the timeline and edit the duration. I'll make that 10 seconds. So now it's expanded as you can see. And then they have a music track that they automatically put in there, but I wanna add my own. So I'm just coming over to my audio file and then add as background music, replace music, because I don't need the music that they automatically put in. The next thing I'm gonna do is come over to the mask tool, which you can find on the side, and then I'm gonna go ahead and search for a square mask. I want just the basic square with the curved edges. Here it is right there. And then I'm gonna use these masks to create that pattern that you saw that kind of forms an overlay over the image. So I'm gonna make this smaller. And then I'm using the image that I have in the background as a reference right now. So I know I want to square right over the eye, right about there. And then I'm going to need quite a few more masks that are the exact same size. So what I'm going to do is just copy and paste that mask and then drag it to the side and start to create that arrangement that I want. Control C, Control V, again. Okay, great, so there's my first row, and then I'm just gonna keep going, copying and pasting the mask to create that really cool arrangement that you saw. Okay, and now I wanna add a few of the triangle masks that you saw in the arrangement, so I'm gonna go ahead and search triangle. So here's the one I want. So it's kind of like a square cut diagonally. So I'm gonna add that into the arrangement a few times, which is gonna look really cool. I wanna drag it down so it's about the same size as the squares. And then let's see, we can put one in the corner here. And then let's go ahead and copy that and paste it. And then this one I'm gonna rotate so that it kind of fits in to the grid again. So I can use the top here just to rotate it. If I rotate it 180, that means I've rotated it exactly halfway around. So when you're rotating, you wanna make sure you hit either 90 or 180. I'm gonna add in another triangle. This one I'm gonna go ahead and rotate 90 degrees. All right, now I'm gonna go back to my folders and now I'm gonna start to drag the image onto the masks. So I'm gonna start with the mask that's right in the middle of the eye. I'm gonna drag the image onto there. And then as you can see, when I first drag it on, the image is really small on there and I want it to be bigger. So I'm gonna to go to edit mask and then pull it out. I want the eye to be kind of right in the middle there. And again, I can use the image in the background as reference. Okay, great. And then I'm gonna go ahead and delete the image in the back because now I have this mask to use as reference. And I want the canvas to be just plain white, so I'm gonna delete this. All right, so now as you can see, I have the white canvas and I'm gonna start adding the image into all of the masks. So again, drag it onto the next one, edit mask, 
make it bigger, and then I'm lining it up with the image on the first mask. And I'm gonna just repeat that process for every single one of the masks. Okay, so now I have the entire image in place in the masks. So the next step is gonna to be to sync the masks with the music so that they come in as the music is playing, which is a really cool effect. So what we're gonna do is hover over the scene and then hit timeline. And now you can see each mask separately. And then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit closer. And you can see on the bottom we have our music track. And then if I click on each mask individually on the timeline, it highlights it up on my canvas. Or I can go ahead and click on one on the canvas and then it will select it for me down on the timeline. So I know I want this corner one to come in on the first hit of the music. So I'm gonna go ahead and sync it up just by dragging it out. All right, and then the next hit in the music doesn't come for a little while. So I'm gonna drag the cursor over to that point. And then I want this next one to come in on that beat. So I'm gonna click that on the canvas. And again, just drag it to the point where my cursor is now. All right, and then these next hits are happening really quickly. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so I can see better. So I'm just gonna repeat this process for all of the masks. And I know I want the middle part of the eye to be the last thing to come in. So I'm just kind of working around it and having all of the other masks come in first. Okay, so now I'm doing my last mask, which is the focal point of the image, the middle of the eye. I'm dragging that out to where I want it to come in. So now you can see they're all coming in at different points. All right, and then just kind of as a finishing touch, what we're gonna do is add some animation. So there's one note that kind of rings out. So for that mask that comes in on that note, we're gonna add a little animation that kind of goes with the music. So I'm gonna click on that mask and then hit animate at the top. And then we're gonna animate in. So we want it to kind of bounce in. And there's a lot of really cool animations to choose from. Let's go with this one for now. And then I think I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. And then that's it, you're good to go. And now all you have to do is come up to the top right corner and hit download and share. And then hit export and your video will be ready to go. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Everyday Experiments with NVIDIA. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and click here to watch another episode. I'm Teresa with NVIDIA and I will see you in the next one.